So I want to show you how this necklace by Plato H fits. It comes up pretty high. Make sure that it's seen. And it catches the light beautifully. There is something about this necklace that I thought was really special though. Actually with a lot of their necklaces because they make sure that instead of giving you a hollow back, it is filled in with silver. So let me show you something here. And by the way, I had it on this shorter setting here. So you can get a little bit more length if you want, but not a lot here. Let me, let me put on the longest and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so the longest setting would come to right here. Now let me show you something else. This is probably pretty silly of me and chances are I am the only one who would ever do such a thing, but I just wanted to share it with you. Because they do fill it in, it is one solid piece of silver on the back. If you had an outfit where you just needed pure silver, flip it around. Just me. Okay, let's take a close up of it. So here's the necklace off. Let's go ahead and get some real close-ups of it. You can see it's got a little bit of ruby, a little bit of amethyst. Or would that really be sapphire? I guess it depends on the lighting, really. Beautiful cut so that it catches. And I think you saw how it catches the light. It's because of the cuts. That's why these crystals are so sought after because obviously they are cut beautifully to maximize every little bit of sparkle you can get. Do you see that pattern? We have twist, straight, twist, Straight, and it continues on like that, very decorative, even right there on the chain. And not the kind of chain you snap off very easily. That is a strong chain. Flip this over. As I was saying before, the back, pure solid silver there. So if it gets flipped around, there is nothing at all unsightly. It is its own special design. There we go. Well, I hope that helps you get a really good view of this gorgeous necklace.